Boys and girls and those grown-ups who like seagulls, I'm very pleased to present my new seagull, Marsha. She's trying to take the place of Sandor. Sandor left me about three years ago and I miss him dearly. But I've got to find another seagull. There has been another one, but it's been rather jittery. It always taps the kitchen window and then when it sees me come into the kitchen it flies on to the garage roof. But Marsha, I've known Marsha since she was a baby and the younger members of the audience always say to me, how do you know it's the same bird? Well they all look pretty much the same don't they? And Marsha, I've looked into her left eye and it's six o'clock there are two tiny specks three o'clock and nine o'clock in relation to each other so I know it's the same bird and all creatures got personalities and Marsha is pretty placid so I'm not giving any food to the jittery seagull anymore so I'm trying to discourage it from coming into this garden so that this new bird Marsha has a free run and I'm very pleased that I've got another seagull. It's taken me about three years to find one. You just can't tame every seagull because some of them aren't interested, some of them are aggressive, they're flighty, they're timid, or they'll only tame themselves to a limited level. Now, young Marcia, she has come into the kitchen as far as the washing machine the other day because I fed her salmon, raw salmon. I cut off a piece from a big salmon side that I bought. I tend to buy a little bit more food than I'm gonna eat because unlike my dad who once said to me when he was alive, I don't cook for the birds. Well, I am prepared to cook for Marsha. But Marsha will eat salmon, cold, which is natural for her in her life and I've also given Marsha some cooked salmon. Yesterday she had some sirloin steak. I was able to show her the big slab of steak uncooked and she lowered her neck like Sandor did and she just stood at the kitchen window waiting for me to cook and every 10 minutes I would show her the sirloin steak as it was being cooked. Now she will come back and at lunchtime I'm going to give Marsha some scampi. So I hope you've liked this little introduction to baby Marsha who is visiting me every day. She'll spend time on the garage roof, she'll walk around the garden and she will come on to the ramp and She'll visit me at the back door. So it's ciao for now. Hopefully we'll do more videos with Marsha. Oh, she's up on the garage roof because a comment that came through the other day on a non-related video was more seagull videos please. So as Marsha poses and then flies off, we shall try and make more videos between us in the summer of 2018.